Hey guys, and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a rather... People like this, but it's a rather highly requested bracelet. My Googleplex bracelet. It's reversible. And it's made on one limb. So yeah. Today is World Smile Day, so take a moment and smile at someone close to you. Today was actually picture day for the younger kids at my school, so I should have told my mom because she was helping out, but I didn't. I forgot because I'm a very forgetful person. But yeah, for this bracelet, you're going to need 72 bands for these little fringy side thingies, 28 bands for this black border, 55 for this center lace right inside the border, and you're going to need two fish tails or tightrope bracelets for the center for these little sparkly things here. Got those two. And you're going to need maybe three to five for your extension if you need an extension. It really depends on your wrist size. I didn't make one, but mine's pretty tight. But yeah, for those fish tails, you're just going to need however many bands you would need to make one long enough to fit around your wrist. And you'll need just two C-clips, and you'll only be using one of them, but you'll need to, like, temporarily use one of them for the fishtails. So, yeah, let's get started. Now I'm going to start off by placing my border bands, my black bands, which I will be using Purple Bubble Bands DIY brand for. And then you're just going to make a normal border, and your loom should be in the square setting. These bands are actually really good quality, despite the fact that they're not Rainbow Loom brand. But if Rainbow Loom can make them, I would like die of happiness. Because I had to go to another state to get these. I was literally in another state and I was like, can we go and get these? <laughs> I was just like, wow. But yeah, there's like no party cities or whatever where I live. And I hope none of you are trying to stalk me to find out where I live, because that's creepy. Stop. But I doubt that. I'm just a simple tutorial maker that makes you bracelets every weekend. And then you do the other side. I don't think it should be necessary to really explain how you put on border bands. I hope I brought enough with me. <laughs> if you hear thunder, then it's definitely thunder. I think it's about to rain. And oddly enough, I still have pretty good lighting. Can't imagine living in Alaska when it's like nighttime like perpetually for like a few months that would like kill my videos I have really bad lighting in here when it's like winter like nighttime sorry but yeah okay good I have enough fans you guys don't mind the fact that I'm talking at you talking at you not with you when I'm doing simple things like this, I hope you don't mind. It's the reason I don't fast forward in case you care about my life. But yeah, now we're going to be placing our little, actually these little fringe pieces, these thingies. I'm going to use a rather odd process for this. So you're going to take your lace fringe whatever's on the side color, which I'm using black for. And again, you're going to use my weird hook procedure to do this, just like I did on the Lauren bracelet and a few other bracelets. So you're going to take your band, and you're going to wrap it around your hook in a cap band in a figure eight shape. And then you're going to pull another black band through. And then you're going to take your finger Carefully hold on to this. You do not want to let go of it and keep it back. 
And then you're going to put this cap band, both parts of it, back on your hook. And again, make sure you keep your finger tight on those other bands. And then put another black band on your hook and pull just the cap band through it. And then you can let go. So it should look something like this. And then you're going to bring back your limb. You're going to take these first two bands, make sure these don't like switch like order or anything like that. And it should look like this when you take them off and hold them tightly. Let me itch my head. There we go. Promise I don't have lice. <laughs> and then take one of them and you put them down here. And then you take the other end and you put it on the hook above it. And then push down. So it should look like that. And then you basically go all the way up the limb and place these just like you would a normal band. So I'm going to do it one more time, showing you how to do it. Take a band, make a figure eight shape, take another band, and pull it through both these bands, and then put your finger on these two black bands, keep it there, and then pull your cap band back on your hook, put another black on your hook, and then pull just the cap band through. And then bring back your loom. Take off these first two bands. Put them on this peg right here. And then put these bands back up here. So it should look like that. And then you repeat that process all the way up to here. And then you do the exact same on the other side. So I'm just going to stop the video here and then I'll come back after I finish doing that and sh I'll show you what it looks like. Hmm, looks like it got a bit darter. Darker? Darter. Is darter a word? <laughs> Anyways, after you do all that, it should look something like this. Oh, gosh, lightning. I always cover my ears after I hear lightning. The longer it takes for the lightning sound to be heard means the farther away it is and the less you have to worry. But anyways, next I'm going to be doing the center white lace here. So I'm going to be using black again for that because I want it to be the same color as the fringe. There we go. See that took a while, I shouldn't be worried. But anyways, you can take your first black, you're going to put it on these two pegs right here. One up from the center first peg and the very first black peg. And then you do another one mirroring that, so going like this. Again, sorry if I can't see. Seems like the lighting's getting a bit better now. And then you place your next band from here to here. And then place the next one here. So you're doing one down to the right, left, one down to the right, one up to the left, and one up to the right. There better not be like any huge flashes of lightning or anything. Okay, next you're going to be doing the same thing, but this time your center of the X is going to be right here, so it's going to overlap this X a little bit. So you're going to put your first band from here to here. It should create an X right here. And then your next one from here to here. And then remember your center of your X is right here. So next one from here to here. And then your next one will be from here to here. Really shouldn't have used black. And then you repeat this up the loom.
I'm so quiet and I don't know what to say. Mm -hmm. I was at this party last weekend and there was this girl and it was my dad's friend and he said, oh my daughter has a rainbow loom, she can bring it and then Claire can come teach her how to do some stuff. So I did and it was really cool because she had an original twist bands kit and if you don't know the twist bands was what came around before the rainbow loom and in my opinion there were some things that were better about it and some things that weren't I think the original twist bands had like a metal hook but it looked a lot different yet it didn't have one of those little base remover thingies at the back in case you're wondering what that does you can hook it here and remove your base yeah and so she had the original twist bands kit but she had an, a hook that actually said rainbow loom so I misplaced that band sorry about that she had a hook that said rainbow loom for some reason I don't know why but you know it was really interesting to see that now I'd always wanted to hold one, and it did actually feel different. The plastic was a little bit cloudier, a little bit more white, and the bases were like a little bit rougher at certain areas, like not like really bad, but like there were some like, I don't know, sharper edges on it. And it said twist bands on it, obviously. So yeah, she might have had a more recent version of it. And the one Rainbow Loom originally had before it created the Rainbow Loom. But yeah, it was really interesting. And she had some of the older bands too, I think. And the yellow, because her yellow seemed different than mine. And also the twist bands only came with four colors. Pink, green, black, and yellow. And there's your Rainbow Loom history. History info for today. So after you do that, you're going to go back down to the bottom and you're going to place your cap bands so basically you're not going to place it on the first or last peg but all the pegs that aren't the first and last peg well oh, hey it's raining okay you'll have some nice gentle rain to loom to so yeah you just basically put a cap band on every center peg first time I think it's actually ever rained in my video and you can hear it well, that's the first for like the 50 tutorials I've done. I've actually done like over 80-ish bracelets and a, a few more tutorials than that. I've done, yeah, 80-ish bracelets that I count as my original designs. I've done other tutorials for random things. But yeah, some bracelets I don't really consider my own because they were so based off of others. Like that honeycomb bracelet, I feel really bad because it was a, basically officially Loom's Funfetti bracelet. No one report me for this, I honestly didn't know it was his Funfetti bracelet. I thought he looped his differently. Or like put the bands on differently and stuff, but I guess not, so sorry about that. He seems to have forgiven me though. But yeah, after you do all that, you're going to take your two fishtails. If you don't have them yet, just pause the video and make two fishtails that fit around your wrist comfortably. And you're going to take one of them and make sure the C-clipped end is on the bottom. And then you're going to put this band right here on this first peg. Man, it's really pouring outside. And you're going to take the C-clip off because you don't really need it anymore for now. You're just going to keep one of the C-clips from, from the fishtails. Gosh, I hope it doesn't flood. And yeah, you're just gonna take this little fish tail that you made and you're just gonna put it in between these two pegs. Man, it is really dark, I'm sorry. <laughs> Need like a lamp or something, but yeah. And then you just stretch it all the way up. Shouldn't break or anything unless your bands are like absolutely terrible. And then you put this cat band ugh, right on this peg right here. And it should look something like that. 
And then again, you take your next fishtail. I, ugh, the lighting's so bad right now. And you put the C-clipped end on the first peg, and then take your C-clip off carefully. Got it. And then, do the same thing. You gotta stretch it all the way up to the peg where you put the other cap band on. And then just put it on like that. And then you flip your loop and I'll show you how to loop it. But I think I'm honestly going to take a break because the lighting's really bad right now. And I don't want to confuse everyone. So I'll be back hopefully. Maybe in a better spot to film. I don't know. Well, I think this has better lighting. I'm actually on the floor right now and I think I'm just going to lay down right here. So, go underneath this cap band. Oh, lightning. Uh, go underneath this cap band. Grab the top black band and then you pull it down here. Ooh, nice good thunder. Then you take the next black band and you pull it down to the right. And then you take this top black band, pull it to the left, and then the right one, and pull it to the right. And again, because these X's are overlapping, you're gonna do it next right here. So you go under the cap band, grab the top black, and pull it to the left, and get over there. Maybe I really should sit up. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was a weird groan. Let me get it up. Okay, now I'm really hunched over, but that might work better. Then you take this black band here. Pull it down to the right. I hear like a weird buzzing. I'm sorry if that's annoying you. Pull it up to the left. <clears throat> okay. Sorry for the primal grunt. Let me just get this band back over here. Uh, one moment. Technical difficulties. Seem very talkative today. Okay, okay, I got it. Got it. Okay. And then we do the right side. And then you repeat this up the limb. Can't wait till a finger loom comes out. I mean, I already have one, but the reason I can't wait is because I'm going to be doing a giveaway once they come out. Yay! I obviously can't ask Tune for another one. That would be considered rude. But, yeah. Plus, I need it in the actual packaging. I didn't really get any packaging for mine. I mean, it would just be weird for me to send you a random cardboard box with no label on it. And then you'd be like, huh? But, yeah. But I will promise to do a giveaway. I'll buy the finger loom right when it comes out on the website in the color pink, I think, because that's the metal hook I'll be giving away. It'll be pink. I'm sorry, guys. I have no clue why I got pink. I mean, I should have gotten blue, but I don't know why, but I got pink. <laughs> now I'll give out a regular rainbow loom with the plastic hook, because you know airports, how they take away metal things. But yeah, that way it'll be all matchy matchy. Hello, mom. Hi. That was my mom. Ooh, 
This video is probably going to be pretty long. Good thing I got a 64 gigabyte memory card. My brother got it on Amazon for very little cash money. One time when I was going to make a video, the power went out and I did not make a video. <laughs> I sure hope that doesn't happen now. Forgot to mention, I'm sorry if I tell the loom because the way my tripod is. But you can just rewind the video if you need more in-depth explanation of this. Now, I also forgot to mention that this bracelet goes all around your wrists, so that's why it kind of takes a lot of bands at certain points. And that's why a lot of the bands are stretched out so much. Ooh! really raining now. My wrist hurts from putting it on the ground, that's weird. But yeah. Okay, you're almost done with your bracelet. Now all you gotta do is loop these four bands. Yay! Sound like Kermit. Isn't it funny when he does the little arm spaz thing where he's like, yay! Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. But yeah. You gotta go underneath both of these cat bands. You're gonna have two because of your fishtails. Grab the top purple and pull it out to the left. And then take the next one, pull it out to the right. Now this is the first time I'm ever using bubble bands actually on the loom like this. So they better not snap because I didn't bring any extra with me. So yeah, you just loop it like a simple border all the way up. It may have some extra tension on it though, which is why I shouldn't have used different brand bands for this point, but I'm not very smart, so let's just ignore that. But yeah, there's a lot of tension, so you're gonna wanna be really careful at this point. The reason I'm tilting my loom to the side is because it's easier, that way I grab the right band you're definitely going to want to grab the right band. The bottom purple. Eh. Eh. This makes me scared. Okay. Got it. If you don't have a Rambo loom, if you have another brand loom, I thoroughly insist that you invest in a Rambo loom. Because obviously on my videos, bracelets with high tension and stuff, like the Chinese finger trap, they're like, my loom is breaking. Thanks for breaking my loom. You're so mean, boo-hoo, cry, sad face. And I'm not trying to make fun of you guys. I understand when your loom breaks. It actually happened to me when my pin bars broke. But again, frame loom is just that. It's very sturdy, has a very less chance of breaking. And unless you loom as constantly as I do, your pin bars will probably never break, ever. Sorry, if I, sorry so, I had yeah. to cut out some of my... That's the phone again. Band looping for the border. I think you guys should Can know how to do that, a border by now. But yeah. Now you're gonna take your hook, go underneath all these bands, Take your extension color and pull it through. And then you're going to want to carefully, very carefully take it off because there's lots of tension. So I'll just scoot this back on my hook. That way it doesn't come off or anything. And then I like to take this bracelet off peg by peg. Two of my purple bubble bands break, broke. So they're just okay quality, I guess. I didn't really notice when I was like stretching it or anything or using it in other less tension involving bracelets. But yeah.
Maybe there's so much tension, I better not break anything. My fingernail hurts after doing this. I'm gonna take out my middle rail because make it whoops easier. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, this is a lot easier to do. Center rips right off. <laughs> Make sure there's no like bubble band pieces in there. To look something like this, it should naturally curl, that's perfectly fine. And then you're gonna clip it up here. Let's get this back onto your hook section. And then add an extension maybe. I'll add like a three band extension just so it doesn't break or anything. And then I'll clip it. And you'll notice it's not very fringy at this moment on the sides. So, oh gosh, it already broke. Jeez. Sorry about that, guys. Let me fix this. Jeez. Moral of the story. If it wasn't an, an extension, then my whole bracelet would be falling apart right now, so I guess you should do an extension. Okay, this better stay. Anyways, so you're gonna see it's not very ruffly or anything. And then you're gonna see there are like these cat bands right here, and you're just gonna pull them out. There should be some cat bands. Might have to look for them a bit harder. Why did I have to record in the spot where there's all the doors? So many doors close to me. But yeah, it should look a lot different. It should be way fringier and more fun. But yeah, I think you can just tug on it like anywhere, honestly. It should fringe out. Take your C-clip, and you find the cat bands at the other end, there's two, and then you clip them. And there's your bracelet after a long, lengthy tutorial where I had to switch spots for recording. Anyways, this is my favorite side, I'd say. But yeah. Hope you enjoyed.